Hello everyone! Thanks so much for checking out today's Wix tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to remove login from our Wix website. So let's get started and let's learn how to do it. We're going to pretend that this is our website and as you can see, we already have this um, sign up or login bar right over here on our header. If you want to remove it, you can just simply click on it, then right click on it, and a drop down will appear. From the drop down, you'll be able to see the delete option. So if you really want to delete it, you can just click delete here, or you can simply hit the delete key on your keyboard. Doing this, however, will not remove your members area or your user's profile page feature. So if you're okay with that, then go ahead and delete the button. Anyway, if you want to remove the um, members area page as well as your login bar altogether, then you're going to have to go to the sidebar and click on pages and menu. So this is where we can manage all of our pages, sub pages, menu and anchor. So over here, we're going to click on the members area and you'll be able to see this button that looks like a gear. It's kind of like a setting button, setting icon. We're going to click on that and from the drop down, we'll see the option that says delete members area. So if you want to delete the um, members area all completely, click on this option. A warning message will appear. This action will remove your member pages, member profile, and login bar. You can still manage your members in site members. So if you're okay with that, go ahead and click on the delete, uh, yes, delete button. Wix will be uninstalling the app from your website. It's going to take a few seconds. And there you go. Your login bar has been removed. And if you go to the pages and menu button on the sidebar, you won't be able to see the members area anymore. So it means it has already been removed. And that's it. That's how you remove login from your Wix website. But say for example, you change your mind and you'd like to add that feature again, or if someone accidentally um, deleted it from your website, then here's how you can add that feature again. So you're going to have to install that feature to your on your website once again. So go to the apps button on the side sidebar. And on the search bar, type in member. And the number one result that'll pop up will be Wix members area. So go ahead and click on that because that's the um app that we're going to be adding back to our website. Um, read the description first and then read the reviews as well. If it's all okay, then click on add to site to be able to install it back um, onto your website. And as you can see, it easily installed in no time and that is because we've previously used it. So this is what our member page look like, looks like. And as you can see, our login bar has been added once again. And if we go here on the uh, pages and menu button, we'll be able to see our members area again. And if you'd like to customize how your, um, how your member page profile is going to look like, then just double click on this blue area over here. I double click and this um, window will appear. Go to layout and choose a layout of your choice. You can use full width or you can use cards. And it's going to look something like that. You can also change your profile picture layout. You can use a circle frame or a square frame, but personally, I like the circle better. And you can also adjust your profile image size. You, you can uh, use small, medium, or 
large. Medium should be okay. And here under the design, you'll be able to change your text style, button style, backgrounds, and borders. So you can actually just tweak these things according to your preferences. Next, we have badges. So create and assign badges to outstanding members of your online community. In case you want to create badges for your members, then this is where you can create those badges. And then you have support lastly. So you have the option to send Wix an email if you've got a question. And then you can also go to support. It'll open a new tab for you that will um, give you more information about um, this feature. And once you're done, um, no worries. Wix will automatically save all of your changes for you. So you can just directly um, exit your window right over here. And uh, make sure that your website is optimized not only on the desktop mode, but also on the mobile mode. So rearrange your elements on the um, mobile mode so that it looks good even on mobile. No worries because I'm rearranging elements on the um, mobile mode will not affect the placement of the elements on your desktop mode. And once everything's all right, then you can just publish. Then you can go ahead and publish your website. So yeah, basically that's all for now. We hope you found our video today of help somehow. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. We're a new channel, so please help us grow by sharing and liking our videos. And if you want to see more Wix tutorials from us, please consider subscribing as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a great day.